Hello and welcome back to Flexo.expert Peels. Are any of you afraid of ghosts? <laughs> Ghost images or simply ghosting for friends sometimes represent a really a brain teaser for Flexo printers, right? Do you want to know more about this defect? I'll try to explain it in this video. Let's start from understanding what do we mean by ghosting. Ghosting is described as the appearance of uh, certain unwanted images on print. Such defective images are originated by graphic elements that are reproduced in a different position on the printing repeat. There can actually be different types of ghosting. We can have ghosting related to a single color, or ghosting that is generated by overprinting colors that are interfering with each other. Assuming that the inks are working at the optimum viscosity and dilution, let's see now what happens in both cases. And let's start from the first case, that is ghosting on single color. During printing, we have ink going from the ink chamber to the analogs, and then from the analogs to the plate, and then from plate to substrate. So, after the analogs touch the plate, the cells released some ink to the plate surface and therefore they need to be refilled in the ink chamber with fresh ink. It might happen, especially when we have upper metering blade in the chamber, that for different reasons the full replenishment of the cells inside the ink chamber is not really successful, unfortunately. Also, let's not forget that normally we are not printing full solids but we have both printing and non-printing areas on the plate. Therefore, in correspondence with a plate non-printing area, the analogs will not discharge any ink to the plate, right? So, it will return inside the ink chamber with some cells that are still full with ink, or almost full. Out of the metering blade, we could then have areas on the analogs roll with a different quantity of ink in the cells. The plate will therefore receive uneven quantities of ink from the analog roll and it will print on substrate with darker spots in correspondence of such areas. Analogs and plate have different diameters and circumference, so these areas will not match and will show in different positions on the final print. Note that ghosting here occurs between printed and non-printed areas of the same color. In fact, the correct color is the darkest one, while the lighter area is so because the ink has not been refilled correctly due to insufficient filling of the analog cells. That is why, in this case, the defect is described as ghosting due to ink starvation. What to do? Well, avoid to deep analog engravings, they won't reload and release ink efficiently. Ensure you have enough pressure of the fluid of the ink inside the chamber to feed the ink into the chamber and force the air out of the cells and fill them with fresh ink. Ensure you have enough uh, wet gap, that is the distance between the two blades that determines the time allowed to the analogs to replenish the cells. You know, the ratio between the analogs diameter, the printing speed and therefore the rotations per minute of the analogs roll, and this wet gap opening are fundamental parameters to ensure inking efficiency in Flexo. You might consider a different chamber, a different design, perhaps with an internal help such as a different profile or a third blade to push the ink towards the surface of the analogs. But there's another type of ghosting that happens because of interaction between colors and let's see how it works. Let's say we are printing one color on deck one and this is a blue, a cyan. And then we have another color printing on deck two, a spot color, maybe yellow. So, yellow over cyan, that is supposed to result in a green color in the overprint area, right? It may happen, 
that the cyan is not properly dry or cured before reaching the next printing deck. So the yellow plate can re-wet the previous ink and pick some of the cyan from the substrate. The cyan can eventually be transferred to the analog roll and it risks to enter into the ink chamber. While the fresh ink yellow tries to refill the empty cells, a little undesired quantity of cyan remains in the cells. Analux and plate have different diameters, so during the next rotation, this unwanted color contamination would hit the plate in a different position. The plate is therefore inked with a contaminated color that will transfer on print with a ghost image. And this is the result. So here the issue is not much related to inking efficiency, but rather to drying or curing and re-wetting and picking a previously printed ink. So here we have an interaction between a cyan that is not ready to receive the second color and a yellow that re-wets the previous color and collects a little quantity of it. That's why this defect is described as ghosting for re-wetting or ink picking. And what can we do here now? Number one, avoid to use analog rolls with too high volume. Lower volume means better drying or curing of both inks, especially the first one, and less re-wetting capacity of the second ink over the first one. Help the first ink down to dry, so limit the use of any additives that can inhibit drying, like uh, deformers, antiform in water-based inks. Increase drying between the printing decks, maybe leaving, if possible, empty decks with active drying. Well, of course, you can also slow the speed, but maybe you don't like this option. Of course, it is always better to prevent from such defects to happen with the proper optimization of the printing system, rather than trying to fix the defect when it occurs. And you? Did you know about the different types of ghosting? Uh, is there anything else that you do to prevent from uh, this annoying problem? Share your comments if you like and let me know what you think about this issue, okay? And I hope this video was useful for you and don't forget you can take your basic training in flexography on flexo.training and if you need any more advanced or customized training or system calibration, you're welcome to contact me at any time. Ciao!